Hi there, my name is Dina Falcone. I'm an herbalist educator and the author of Foraging and Feasting in Earthly Bodies and Heavenly Hair. And I just released my new online course, wildfoodhealthboosters.com. So, what is this lesson about today? It is about, oh, ooh, shit. I've just been stepping in poison ivy. <laughs> Luckily, this lesson is about jewelweed, ways to prevent getting poison ivy rashes. Come on over. Just kidding. But today's lesson is all about something that you want to get to know so that you don't break out in a poison ivy rash. And that is Impatience Polita Jewelweed. It's an annual and it loves to grow in shady marginal areas around woodlands and things like that. This is a pretty moist spot. It gets a, a good amount of moisture. Notice its root. This is a annual very easy to dig up you can just pull this right out let's move up the stalk and you can see that this stalk is roundish round <laughs> and if you go up the stalk you'll notice there's this white bloom that's that stuff that i'm actually wiping off as my finger runs through it and then let's just check leaf arrangement and here we see leaves somewhat symmetrical opposite each other but it's not always the case. There's alternate leaf arrangement in this plant as well. So there's irregularity. And then let's just take you to the leaves so you can see them more clearly. And you can see that the leaves are serrated, but they're really, the serrations are very round and soft. So the leaf margin there, you note that, you see that rounded or crenate leaf margin. Cool. And what about that leaf shape? How would you describe it? Almond-like, egg-like, ovate, teardrop, all those thoughts. And then notice too that we've got a pretty long leaf stem, a petiole on this leaf blade here. Yeah, you got that main stem of Impatience Polita of Jewelweed is hollow. And I'll show you. We've got a nice hollow stem. When you do hit the leaf nodes, there's some membrane there that's stopping it from flowing, but you can see there's quite a bit of hollowness there. Cool. Impatience Polita, this jewelweed gets to be sometimes six or seven feet tall. It's pretty amazing. And it gets light yellow flowers, beautiful decorative yellow flowers. You might know another species of jewelweed, Impatience capensis, and that doesn't get as tall and it gets an orange flower, just so you know. Both can be used similarly. And yeah, I wanna show you how to use it now. How you use this is if you've been in contact with poison ivy, and you want to prevent yourself from getting the rash, you break off this plant and you crush it. So you're basically making a poultice, a mash of it. You could use the food processor to do this <laughs> if you need a lot, but basically you're crushing the stem and leaf and really getting its juices flowing and using your fingers to get in there mashing it up and so I've passed let's say hypothetic or whatever theoretical I've passed through poison ivy and it's on my skin but the rash has not kicked in I've just had contact with PI you see I'm still mashing so you get it it takes a while to really get the juices out you mash it mash it mash it again I've passed through poison ivy just earlier today no rash yet as soon as I've can get some of this what I do after I've contacted the poison ivy on my skin and mash this up and then I completely coat the area that had contact with poison ivy. Now this is to prevent the rash. So once you've had contact you do this right away and then you prevent the orishiol or however you say it, the stuff in PI that gives you the rash. This stops the ability from that compound to bind with your skin so it deactivates that stuff or it just doesn't let it bind with your skin 
and then you do not get a poison ivy rash. If you get the rash and you don't get to do, you know, you haven't done this and you do get a poison ivy rash, jewelweed is not my favorite remedy for that. That's another lesson. This is for if you've had contact and there is no rash yet, then this is how you prevent it. Cool? So you're basically washing heavily your skin with the juices of jewelweed to just shut down your skin's ability to access that poison ivy rash. Okay, so. Sorry, I'm pretty excited about this mashing. <laughs> and you want to do that too, because a lot of times, just as a note, people will often just pick a leaf and go, oh, that's how I put it on. No, 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 no. You see what I'm saying? You're really creating a poultice and getting all that juiciness to happen. Cool. So, that is a quick jewelweed moment. May it bring soothing, cooling, poison ivy free summers into your life. And if you've enjoyed this and you want more, check out my new online course, Wild Food Health Boosters and Herbal Remedies at wildfoodhealthboosters.com. See you next time. Ha, 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 ha.